we're getting close to Six Mile Hill and about 2008 or 2009 we were driving back home from to Burns Lake from Hazelton from visiting my mom and dad. Desmond and I um, were talking. It was about, did you say it was late, su late summer? Yeah, summertime. about stuff like that when you think about the like if something like that was found and um, I instantly think like scientists and that torturing it like I can't see that thing having a good life with if it was caught or if it was at the very least shot by someone that just wanted to prove that it was saw, seen and we didn't ask for this like we didn't ask to see it like it wasn't even on our mind when we seen it we seen it and I don't 
don't know. It just seems like one of the stories that we're going to put out there. Um, right now, I just have my phone. I'm just going to upload it and I'll do a better video in the summer. And But we just wanted to share it, like share it and in the summer we'll add it to the uh, YouTube channel we have. You have anything to say, Des? Um, it was pretty crazy seeing that like we weren't looking for anything like that, just chatting around and then seeing it and it was kind of unbelievable. It was, that thing was fast. It was really fast. Like it seemed like just a couple of steps it was across the highway. Like it was pretty cl close to catching that deer. It looks like it was, it was hunting that deer. That's what it looked like and he was chasing it. That was one thing I wanted to say too is when it was going across the highway it was really agile like you see old videos of like this clunky looking thing going by and it's moving really slow and that but that's not the way this thing was moving this thing was fast it was like keeping up with the deer and it was really agile and there was nothing like clunky or the way it it was just crazy the way it moved but um i just wanted to share this video and like um let you guys know that we're not giving up on the whole youtube thing and we want to keep sharing stories <laughs>